I had a recruiting coach who used to call me almost every day, um, and it got to the point where I was like, all right, maybe I should come check you out at UNH and see what it's like. Currently living in Georgia, I've been there for the past 11 years. And why I chose to come to UNH is a question I get a lot, because um, it's so far from home. The community is different. Um, it's, there's nothing like it in the country. I chose biomedical science as my undergraduate degree, uh, mainly because I wanted to stay in medicine. And my mom grew up in the hospital, kind of just following my, my grandma's footsteps. Um, so that was pretty cool, and I always liked the, the, the feel like of knowing what's going on with the human body when someone's hurt and like knowing you can help them. Point. Nine. Okay. Learning how to balance um, school and, and football between the fall and the spring is probably the most difficult thing. Being able to focus in your 8 a.m. class after spring ball is difficult. Um, and so it's just something you have to learn. It's really fun coaching guys like Max. First and foremost, elite work ethic. He's one of the, the first people that steps on the practice field every single day, one of the last person to leave. I think his career is one of you know, trials and tribulations. He came in, was the first true freshman to ever start a quarterback for us. I thought he did a really good job as the season went along, making great decisions, getting more comfortable. So we expected huge things from him going into his sophomore campaign. And then he tears his ACL a week before the season started in the, in the 21 season. It was pretty unfortunate, um, and you know, things kind of happen how they happen. The fact that he was courageous enough to stick to the rehab process, stayed motivated, stayed positive, but I think he's got that mental makeup. He's a tremendous leader. Uh, he's a man of high character. He believes in himself. What he was able to do last year, I think, was tremendous. Um, you know, He has a chance to be one of the best football players in the country this year. Here they do come. They rush for Brosmer has time. Shot to DJ Lincolns, comes down with it. Touchdown, Wild. I started my master's in kinesiology um, with an exercise science track focus. And then I'm taking a lab course where I'm actually being a part of a research study. And so this is going to be a published research article in a journal after we're done with it. It's going to be a cool um, kind of take on what real research looks like. Because um, I usually just hear about it in class, but now I'm actually part of one. As a graduate student, he's expected to be more of a leader. And so with wanting to go into orthopedic medicine, it's actually a very natural fit. You know, if he wants to work with athletic populations as, say, a team doctor, and then leveraging that as he goes into looking at medical schools. We always said we want to leave the program better than we found it. And guys like Max Brosmer, that's exactly what he's doing. And for us to be able to provide a place for him in an environment where he can thrive and be the best version of himself, that's everything as a coach. I want to be a Wildcat for the rest of my life. I'm always looking to continue to get better, not only as an athlete on the field, but off the field as well. I got so much more to prove.